Okay, hey, what's up, people? Guess what? I'm reviewing the Tekken movie. It's called just Tekken. The main thing that I gotta say about this, the things that they do right is the first things I'm gonna talk about. The characters look like the ones in the actual game. That's a plus, a big plus for it. Um, the fighting is great. The action is just, it's just good. It's, it's nothing... That you haven't seen before, right? No. It's um really great. It's it's done well. The fighting is in the tournament style. It's not bad, I mean but the only thing is you don't really feel a connection with the characters. That's the that's probably the main problem I have with it. Being that I'm a big fan, Jin Kasama, main character, he enters the tournament because his mother is killed in an explosion. So and she told him to not enter the Tekken tournament. He he thinks by he's gonna make um some money off of it. And he kind of I guess he didn't really. He, people try to talk him into it, but he didn't really do it until after this happens. Um, he shows up. Mar oh yeah, martial law is in this movie, and he's played by Kung Lee, that guy from Strike Force. Um, he's a he's an MMA fighter. Like I said, in that fight, actually between Jin and Martial law, it, it feels like a UFC fight. That's basically what it is, a UFC. Now, some of the moves that, that Jin does, you wouldn't see, because you can't jump off the cage like that and do all these different high-flying moves. You can't do that in the UFC or Strike Force. I've never seen it done. Some of the moves might be illegal, too, so... It's a violent, bloody movie. And I really like these things right here, the horn... Kind of like arm warmers type things, but they're like that. Actually, they were Steve Fox's, um, I guess boxing glove. I thought that guy was a boxer, but he never wore this. Jin wore that. And first of all, John Fox or Steve Fox, I don't know what I'm saying, John Fox, <laughs> Steve Fox, he's actually Nina's son, but in the movie, he's not Nina's son. <laughs> she looks younger than him. But yeah, she's pretty cute too, but Christy Montara, uh, which you can probably see right here, um, she looks awesome in the movie. She's my favorite fighter in the whole Tekken series. She is awesome. The girl that plays her, um, Kelly Overton, never heard of her before, but she looks like her. She's badass. I really like the character, but the thing is, still, you don't feel like a huge connection to her. To her. Like I said, the characters and the fighting are the two things that are great about this movie. Um, they don't, it's not exactly like the game, so don't expect it to be, Oh, it's not like the game, it's gonna suck. Well, who gives a crap if it's like the game, people? The game is, a, is what is supposed to be like the game, not the movie. So yeah, um, they're also doing an animated version of this, which... Um, which I believe it'll be a lot better than this, because it looks more like the game, which is awesome. One thing that Tekken does right is martial arts, and that's what I love. I love martial arts, which I want to do my own thing where I'm doing maybe some fight scenes, but I need some practice first. And so, yes, um, I give it a 3 out of 5. Um, I would suggest renting it, especially if you're not a Tekken fan. If you don't like action movies... And just rent this or just don't get it at all. Um, it's not funny. There's no real funny parts. There's a couple of love scenes in there, but it doesn't go. The thing that's really good is that it never goes past anything like, like in Blood Rain, Third Reach is like some really, like porno style, <laughs> style sex scenes. But in this, there's nothing like that. Mostly just making out and a couple of other things, but. You get the idea. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's just like Kim and Jin. He kind of hooks up with Christy, which that doesn't happen in the game. First of all, Jin, I'm going to kick your ass. Christy is my girl. That's my damn girlfriend. But no, being serious, um, it's pretty good. Check it out. Check it out, people. Rent it, buy it, go to Walmart and get it for 15 bucks. If you go to Best Buy, you're going to have to get it for like 20 Which if I would have known that, I would have got it at Walmart. What the hell? Pissed me off. But anyways, is it worth? It's worth for me. I bought it because I'm a Tekken fan. Next thing, we're, next two movies that will probably be reviewed will be the King of Fighters movie, which is based on a fighting, my favorite fighting game, and um, 
expect Captain America review. And that's all I gotta say about that. Thank you, people.